Okay, guys. Hey, um, I'm sorry I didn't do a video of the day of, like, my weekly grocery shopping. We are going to do that this week after this video, after I get ready and such. But I have to do this video. Because, like, I'm terrified a little bit. But I'm not. Because it's been common. So, we're going to be doing a little ghost. I'm going to be talking about my ghost and cat. Because, you know, some of these are older, but I, it's like, well, it's, it's at my house. None of them are like, they like, supernatural that I should like, you know, film and such, but still the fact, you know, if I find the video, I will put it in, but I don't know what to do, I don't think. Um... I have set off why we have, I have a dress on. My grandma's asleep and you know, I'm not going to go every house and show you, you know, obviously that's just stupid to do this video. But, um, my, I have a white dress. My grandma's room is like, kind of like a dress or like a closet. She has that mess so she can't go upstairs and I'm... <laughs> lazy enough to take my, my stuff upstairs unless it's like winter stuff or something like that anyway there'd be certain times it the house is not on a hill it is but like it's not in that room so like it shouldn't do that okay the living room and dining room is different by the way anyways we would walk past and like Sometimes the dresser will open up and all that. Kind of reminds you of like a insidious moment, but nothing pops out, if you know what I mean. But it's like, okay, well, we don't know. So that, that, is a, that hasn't happened to me lately. So that's not scary, but I'm going to show, like I said, everything. We're going to start off with outside. Now, let me, before I start saying outside, I have had history, the history, basically, before my grandparents owned this house, the dude that had it passed by our big tree we had out, had outside. And with that being said, he, he was nice, though, like, so I don't know why, if he does or something. Well, my grandpa bought this house, he went upstairs. And he has said, I don't know if he said if he's scared me, I don't know if it's true or not. He went up to the attic, you know, to make sure everything was good, and found his box of remains. And there was a note saying for the new owner, he wanted to be spread out in the woods. So that was the case. Well, that was the case. He, that, that's what happened. That's what Grandpa did. And we have, we do have a mini pet cemetery back there. Not like pets from, St from Stephen Gaines novel. The novel comes alive, something like that. At least I don't hope so. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, um, I'm out of it. There was, we had a counter last night, plus I did. But it wasn't like a ghost. I don't know what it was. A weird creature was outside. I, this was Nick's, I'm not gonna talk about it, but he's not scared of anything, he is terrified, so, we're, we're leaving as that, so I'm kinda like shook and up, making sure he's okay too, but we didn't get to bed to about 1am, that's how bad it was, and this happened around 10.30, so I don't know, anyway, yeah, um, Apparently, I guess, for my aunts, who made my uncle, or someone, they should have said they thought. I'm, I'm scared to ask why I'm, like, looking at the Danum staircase. That, um, there was a old barrel grounds before it became a house. We used to have a barn 
So, like, I think that's what they're meaning. But again, that's what I wish I hold. I'm not sure. But anyways, when I go outside at times, be it's once in a while. It hasn't happened for a few years. But I remember, because, like, my grandpa has got me four wheels before it has got me, you know, like, you know, when I was little, you know, all those toy cars and stuff, you know, that you can drive. And we have a John Deere Gator. Well, I had a big old Gator around this time. Oh, it was a four wheel. I forget which one. I was driving around. I normally like it driving around the tree. Probably shouldn't do that because that's where the guy's bait. The guy passed, but. It's not like that's where he grandpa put his remains at. So it's like it doesn't matter. Well, here again, you I would hear a little girl. There's no little kids around where I live. As of right now. I kid you not. I have heard once in a blue moon a little girl say hi. It's like hi. And every time that has gone up I have to stop and look around no one is there but you can hear it's kind of it's more you can hear I don't want to say I always wear headphones I don't listen to music when I'm driving I listen like I use most earplugs but whenever that happens I hear it I don't know why I don't but it's creepy to me, but it's not the scariest thing that happened. Also, I don't like ghost children. Because of, you know, ghost adventures and stuff. So, you know. So, Nick's, so Nick has a counter too. And plus, we, okay. This was probably in 2020. It was before when we got married. It was even before when we got married. I know that. It was probably around the time of our engagement party. Well, no, sorry. It was after my, our engagement party for Nick's encounter. So, yeah. Um, it was on Christmas Eve. He was coming over, you know. he it was, before, it was the last one before we did. Our Christmas, he came over. I went, yeah. Yeah, I remember it was a... No... It wasn't this last Christmas. All the year before. It was 2029's. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I'm, yeah. I'm so fucking terrified. By the way, there'll be cousin. Um, Nick. It was Christmas Eve on 2029. That's right. He came over. Yeah, because we were engaged. We just got engaged that fall in May. And he thought I went downstairs. My stomach was holding. I know because we went to get go and I decided to get one of the wraps. That made me sick. So I went downstairs, you know, I had stomach ache and all that stuff. And I came down, I was like, won't you at the door, won't at the staircase mess with me? I'm like, was in the bathroom the whole time. Basically, he thought he heard my voice, said, Nick, Nick. And then he, we didn't come back upstairs for the rest of that day. And I guess my old friend, too, has heard stuff, too. I don't know. I don't know. But, like... It was, it's 2020, it's around someone's way before our engagement party. We went up there to grab stuff, get ready for it, and we just lay down and, you know, basically relaxed. And we thought we'd hold my grandpa's voice. Again, my grandpa don't yell up those stairs like that. And we went down and grandpa wasn't even home. He didn't even leave. I have a tracking device. We have like Life360 and stuff on our phones. 
Grandma wasn't down. We thought it was the TV. The TV was off. Grandma was laying down because she wasn't feeling good. So, you know. And no one comes and messaged me. But, so, I don't even know. We hold that. And then, like, it said like that. And then we stopped because we thought it was Grandpa. Then, like, it sounded like a female voice. So, like, it told so, yeah, and we live in Ohio. I mean, that's not the scariest, but like it was kind of one of it's on my top, it's on my list. Um, okay, so the pet we have right now, I probably talk a lot about here in the boards. That door likes to open, and that's the room of Nick's kennel and mine. Well, when I was little and that room used to be my room, I had a dream that something went upstairs. I thought it was a dream and it sounded real. That the door slammed shut. Okay. And when we went up, the other room was not. So, that was kind of bad. Um, another thing, our, room, our bedroom we have now is basically my great grandma that passed. I don't think she was like a front door. When it was my cats, because that's where we put Jamel. Jamel, you know, was one of those cats that hid underneath everything, which every cat's like that. Well, the door, the as well as the attic, the attic door keeps shut and closed. We have it like basically open for me now but yeah Jamel would have been scaled when we would like look up and heal like things going up and down attic stuff and yeah that door keeps opening and closing and recently I just heard somebody walking in that room we have rescued a baby bunny and was with grandma's room there and that bunny was fine until recently that bunny would just jump out. Mama, like, scared. And Jamel, Jack, and my other cat kid were removing the bunny and everything. She's calmed down. Those three stay just like the feet. So it's kind of, yeah. That kind of scared me recently. My grandpa's face. Now, this man does not believe in Air Force. He believes in UV, UV, UFOs because he was in Air Force, but, you know. He's not a believer. He's. he He's a preacher, by the way, so, like, he doesn't believe in that stuff. Okay, so this was a few months ago. Nick was having, we had an experience with Kip, our youngest kid, and, and they sent my room to the doors all shut on her and she was trapped. We were camping in the living room. You know, woke us up about 3 a.m. for me. Got like locked in that door. And it was kind of weird because, like, Nick's turtle was still in that other room and stuff, and like, and they were all spooked, so she couldn't get out. Well, Nick told Grandpa that story and stuff, and I think I was in the bathroom or I was upstairs, one of the two. And Grandpa kept yelling for me, and Nick, you know, came around, but he. Th he thought he saw, well, my mom passed. My mom passed in the dining room, but that was where I met. We're not going to get into that story. He thought he saw me walk home to the kitchen. Not the kitchen, but like, we have like an air fryer, which I can show you a little bit. The house is like this. Air fryer, basically that corner to in heel. Thought he saw a shot figure. And I like sent it to my mom, so he thought it was with me. 
And he was like, that was creepy as hell. Then recently, probably like a week and a half ago, I was freaking did all. Don't remember what I was. And I put the look up the second was his bachelor. Like, yeah. Put and this is this is something like that. This is his bachelor. We put it down, I put it down, walked away, and my grandpa was watching this whole thing and just at me. I wish I got it on camera. And grandpa was like you know I don't believe in that stuff, but that was scary as hell. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you think that's not scary. Then last night, we have a little zone. Nick has a good little gadget girl. I had to change the light, you know, every morning after I drop Nick off from work and come home and stuff. Well, then this one's light. Hold on a minute. My grandpa's in, you know, that's kind of scary now. Oh, God. Oh, no. Of course, I make this video, so that's going to happen. We have two, you know, his cage, his light is in the middle of the cage, like it shouldn't move. You know what I mean? Well, it's... I wrote down the stories, by the way. It shouldn't. And yes, like, we had to take it out of the plug and plug in it. Well, it was already plugged in. And they just forgot to put it on. Like, it is... You're not supposed to keep his cage off because he can die after a certain while. And this was at 2 p.m. Like, we didn't get up till 1 a.m., by the way. I didn't feel good and Nick was tired and we just didn't relax weekend this week so we'd you know I put it on it's also a horn as a 50 some probably like 70 something years old it's still it's creepy at times. Anyway, we, well, I, I was doing it, Nick was upstairs. My cat's been up my ass. Jamil has been up me probably a good few hours out of the day. I don't know if she sees something or she's worn. I don't know. But she was in the middle with me. And... All of a sudden, this light came crashing down. Didn't break, luckily, because I was freaking out, so I had to stay back there and try it on and stuff. Make sure after I got. But Jamel was watching that corner where the hit, like, fell on me. Like, she was puffy, like, you know, you know how cats look like before they're about to attack or they see something? Exactly like that. And then that freaked me out. I don't have a bruise. I have like a light bruise where you can't see that. But that's where it like hit my hand. Actually, it actually hurts. But like it's doesn't show up that way on camera. But a little bit. So that's Trice's thing has been after me. Also, Nick's been hearing whistles lately and. On the staircase, which is my mother's staircase, is what we'll call it. So that's scary. And then, recently, I don't have it on camera anymore because, you know, I didn't say it would be a dumbass. Anyway, we will. All this stuff is basically around the same time. time Grandpa saw this. The shadow. And Nick's cat got locked upstairs and stuff. And we have cameras in the house because my grandma has MS. She'll see she falls or something we can help her. Well, we were in the kitchen. We were in the living room and I was showing, I showed grandpa because I did take a picture. 
and we have an exercise machine and it could you not it look like somebody standing there I think I might send it to grandpa but I doubt it cuz I can't even find the mange dog picture I have that I took from like last summer around this time well that's not the video Anyway, but yeah, that's actually kind of sad. Even when my dog was here, too, he would just look in corners. It, my mom lived in an old apartment, too, that apparently the neighbor saw like a ball bouncing, but no kids could be seen. Apparently, I was on bare grounds, too. I don't know. He was a gigantic puppy, though. Then, like, my mom's cat at the time still was probably like young. She's probably, like, five. I don't know. It was, like, a 15-year-old cat. 15-year-old lifespan of a cat. That cat, I don't remember. What kind of species or whatever. But, like, she lived over out of nowhere. I used to have a radio in my room because I could not sleep. I had like I had like a sound, like something, light or sound, and I had both in that house. And it kept going up. I wasn't there for a whole week because I was terrified. I told the movie I watched, Dumbass. And like the revel was like, not revel, the volume kept going up day, like, 15, every 15 seconds, took the mom went in there and took it out. And even Kippo was just barking at the door. So, does that. And plus, like, the neighbors, I guess their closet door wouldn't open unless they left. And, like, he could he would open it and shut it out. It's terrifying. That was actually my ghost story. There's probably more I'm forgetting. I don't want to remember them. I just remember it's every month around the 20th to about 26th at my house on that goes on. I don't know if it's, I don't think it's demonic. People on my Snapchat, like friends of mine, have said when that white dress opens that it's my mom and also I should let you guys know I did not want to be f I, don't worry, I did that I did not want to be filmed I didn't film last week my grocery haul thing because I wasn't feeling good one I wasn't feeling good two it was raining and crappy out and three I was just tired, so I didn't feel well. But that whole past week, I just haven't been wanting to be at home. Is it depression? I don't think so, no. And now I got front of spatula, and then like three years later, I got front of spatula. And now to yesterday, I got a light. And now I'm doing a video because I'm terrified. And plus, something's out in the woods. And but I'm not gonna show you what it is. I didn't really see it. Nick has been around this stuff his past too. He has a ghost history and so much. I'm not gonna have him talk about it. This is just on my house. I have other ghost stories, but I'm not gonna share it all. Maybe if you want me to, let me know. But I doubt it. Um, Nick was see. Nick is someone that's not scared of anything. He goes outside hunting coyotes, mange dogs, because you know, that's what killed my dog. And he just doesn't want to go public because there's like little cats we have around, and obviously we have bunnies now. And, you know, plus I've been a little bit. They've been pricks lately. 
well, Nick recently, I think it was two months ago, three months, it was around Christmas, I'm not sure. Oh, it was around Halloween. It was something around that area, fall, early winter. Nick was outside and he was hunting. And by our barn we had outside, he saw the weird creature thing. I don't know if it's demonic, but I don't know if it really is or not. And that petrified him. He wasn't scared of it. Well, last night, he, um, why we didn't go to sleep. He was outside. Because he had to go get something, and he heard something behind the garage. Went back there, saw kind of a similar thing. But the chest, he's a big, like, there's probably his arm span. I'm not going to show my whole arm. I'm basically not. I'm dressed, but like, I'm in pajamas and I don't, you know, like that. As big as his chest. So whatever this thing is, has a big chest, a small head. Honestly, and it's like, Nick's about six something, so this thing's about eight something, is what he says. It's like, it's like two of him, or something like that. Anyway, it scared him, and this man don't get scared. He gets scared by one thing, that's kind of scared. He raveled deal with his other thing he hates. And I'm not going to expose my husband, by the way. But... He's petrified. Like, and the woods have always creeped me out. And now I'm more scared to go outside. Oh, well, it's daylight, so I'm not that scared. But at night, it's a whole other ball game. I don't know. So Nick's petrified still. I'm kind of scared because of what happened in the house. He's more outside. So, like, he, yeah. You know, it's like one of those. Like, he has, like, a full jail, yeah. He was outside, he was locked with his brother, his, uh, the other day, by, like, a pack of seven coyotes, which I've seen them. It's, they were getting, they're all pricks, like I said. And, yeah, like, he was stuck out there to about 7.30 a.m. So it was like from midnight to 7 30 a.m. Like, that's unusual for them to stay out that long, I guess. I don't know. I'm not something that a coyote, coyote expert, but it petrified him. And I don't think he wants to go outside and be in that area. And like I said, we have a baby rabbit right now. And. I don't want lease. I was supposed to be leasing. His mom passed because of the coyote. That's what we think that it did. Oh, it's this thing that has. I, I need to look back on my camera for sure of this monster thing. But, like, I. We have a barn now, and we have two barns. And now it's in the way. So, like, I can't see it. But my husband would not lie about something like this. Like, he was legit crying, and that's not like my husband. And I'm not exposing him. I'm just saying, it. that makes them scared. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get ready for the day, and I'm going to give you another video. So, see you in a little bit.